Hi everyone, so in this video I'm in the woods and this is where I'm going to check out the new MEW4 uh, M163 which uh, has lots of similarities uh, parts wise with the Hypergos from MJX. They share some parts and whether they are as tough, let's find out. And here it is. And on the box it says MEW4 M163. And with this RC you don't just get a shell, you get a cool shell. I'm looking at the box here and I gotta say it's 80 euros that I paid and I get all of this for that price. That is just wild. And I'm getting strong MJX vibes. I feel like some of the parts are absolutely the same. Now let's have a look inside. I think I didn't really have to cut that much but I got kind of carried away. And there's the menu, which uh, you should read, of course. And here we have it. Well, first impressions are pretty good. Now let's see what else we have. Radio is pretty much the same like in the MJX Hypergoes. It fits good in the hand. Good for one-handed steering. Takes two AA batteries. Um, the top and yeah it's kind of cool and there was a button which i'm not really sure whether for it says fn, but one-handed steering is supposed to be pretty good and of course the steering trim and just like the hype goes you can set it to 70 percent or 100 percent phillips screwdriver a charger and a wrenching tool And here's the car and it looks pretty awesome. And the pattern on the body shell is not just a pattern, it's an actual word. It's repeating the words four wheel drive off road all the time. And let's open it up. And this thing is running lights, but it can actually take off the body shell without ripping the cables off. Oil filled shocks, and they are so soft. And I like those tires too. They're so good. So good. I can't wait to drive it. And this adjustable and CVDs, metal CVDs, front and back. It's just awesome. And Dean's or T plug, brushless setup, and metal in all the right places. Easy upgradable if you want it. And you can even attach a fan, it has a slot for a fan. And on the bottom, it pretty much looks like a HyperGo. But I get all of this, what I just mentioned, for about between 70 and 80 euros, and it's crazy and uh, I'm so moved by this. A velcro strap is keeping the lipo in place, it's a 1500 milliamp hours and it's in a hot case and this is like some softened material to to reduce the shocks for the lipo. The whole drivetrain is metal. Radio on, car on and let's go. They has some power to it. Oh my goodness. Oops, I got a little distracted there because I finally found out what the FN button is for. Beautiful. And off, and on, and off, and on. 
And for this low price, you get everything you wish for in a budget basher. It races, it pops wheelies, it jumps, does backflips, and uh, yeah, it does that too. And all in all, it's super sturdy and uh, I can't stop playing with it. It's so much fun. So if you're new to the hobby, for 70 to 80 euros, this is all you need for the start. It has everything you wish for. For a time, it used to be the WL toys and the HBXs that were recommended. I definitely recommend this for the start. And even if you already own a few RC cars, you still want this one too. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already.